What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now before we get started guys, I got a little announcement. Not, it's not like a crazy announcement, or I guess, but it's for the future of the channel and stuff like that. Um, one, uh, starting next week, I'm going to start releasing like videos from Monday through Friday. It's not going to be every day. Like I haven't really got the schedule down. For sure it'll be like more like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, stuff like that. Uh, I'll be releasing weekly things. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is yet. Obviously you'll see Monday, but... Uh, yeah, and it'll keep going for the foreseeable future. So the con it won't be like this past week where I haven't been able to upload everything. It's been a crazy week, but uh, yeah, it'll be. We'll have concurrent stuff coming out, and it, it should be really, really awesome. I'm super excited about that, and hope you guys are too. So let's get right into this video now. What would Star Wars be without a little rumor circulating? And I, that's first. I want to preface that before we even even get started. You know what I mean? That these are none of this stuff is confirmed. But it's it's got it's got some weight to it, and obviously we'll cover it. So obviously I was gonna just make this video about the book of Boba and kind of what to expect from it, you know what I mean? But honestly, uh, uh, something else I saw that's been floating around that I kind of want to give my two cents on as well. So, but uh, yes, first we'll start with the book of Boba. Obviously I didn't know this or not, but Tamora Morrison said like back in June or something that there's gonna be flashbacks from Empire and stuff like that, which is crazy you know about that armor and stuff and that's kind of like what this uh new rumor is coming out as well the full armor team seems like unexpected considering fett's efforts to fix his old armor and how much it means to him in the middle in season two but we are assured from people who saw it that are a distinct difference to how it looks and that they updated the ar armor looked awesome with a much better paint job than the last we saw on the mandalorian season two it's possible this is a show technique to help the audience you know differentiate uh the past and the present as flashbacks are expected so yeah so they're they're gonna definitely change the armor uh i don't know what they're gonna do i, I i'm curious to see what it looks like but also that means we're probably gonna get some new merchandise stuff like that maybe some funko pops please have a huge funko pop guy please 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 hopefully we'll get that but yeah i'm i'm excited fennec shand will come back you know uh ming na the actress will be there as well so yeah we all saw that quote by you know uh robert rodriguez that he said you know the show will over deliver and you know blow everyone's mind so i'm excited for it but that's not really the main juice and butter of this video now i saw this on twitter saw this a couple other places but i really i really wanted to talk about it and give my two cents because it's it's kind of a weird situation i would have to say it's kind of it's just i don't know i don't know how to make of it and i guess we'll i'll give my theories and my two cents of it this article is by inside the magic.net i'll also leave this in the description so inside the magic uh this article is saying star wars is reportedly changing the name of the mandalorian which kind of piqued my interest i was like mm, what do you mean changing the show so uh we'll go over the rumor and everything like that and i'll give my uh theory slash ideas slash thoughts recently the online rumor uh mill has been swirling with reports that the showrunner john favreau and executive producer dave filoni hit series the mandalorian will end after its upcoming third season to which in my opinion when it comes to ending the show it would make sense that it wouldn't go to like six seasons you know what i mean and uh maybe i don't know i don't know how they're gonna handle it because din Djarin is such an awesome character i hopefully he doesn't die by the end of this but uh <laughs> but i can see it where season three it ends you know grogu's not there anymore he's doing his thing it's gonna be a long time i also feel like there's gonna be a time jump i don't know why i have little a little intuition that we might get a time jump from uh season three but also that's part of the reason why i want to talk about the book of boba as well is because the book of boba has been said by many people that it's uh like a 2.5 uh, Mandalorian it's right in between both of them and uh and it like kind of bridges between two and three so which kind of further you know insinuates that there is might be a time jump so now a new post indicates that immensely popular Star Wars show will not actually be ending after season three but will simply continue under a new name after the storyline ramps up which corroborates what Moff Gideon you know the actor that has uh, previously indicated there there's an end planned I've also heard it's just a morph into a new show that sticks with a character slash time period, but under a new name. So it's kind of like, I don't know how they're going to do it. There's a lot of theories out there. I've seen some decent ones, in my opinion. Uh, one, obviously, it's all going to revolve around the Darksaber. 
You know what I mean? It's all going to go around the dark saber. You know, I think that's going to be the number one pushing point for season three and how we're going to deal with it. And I've heard some theories that maybe Bo-Katan and Din Djarin have this love interest and they, you know, rule Mandalore together or they actually do fight to the death and, you know, someone comes up on top and uh, I, uh, we all know, I, you know how I feel about Bo-Katan if you know me. I, I think Bo-Katan doesn't deserve it. She folded like three times with the dark saber i don't think she's i don't think she deserves it i really don't and i think din Djarin's a good person to do it because first of all he doesn't want it that makes a good king slash mandalore whatever you want to call it you know so i think i think din deserves it and but i don't know where the show is gonna go i could see uh it's the mandalorian uh i could see maybe them changing it if din wins you know to the mandalore you know what I mean? That would be that would be very interesting where he's re on Mandalore and he's like rebuilding like everything like that. That would be super cool to see. And maybe for the future, you know, I predict Thrawn is going to be the big baddie and maybe he'll be around for that too. So I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But uh, yeah, super, super interesting rumor. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.